What is going on everybody? Long time no see. It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, just want to be honest, I've had a lot of things come up. A lot of family issues, a lot of kids uh, issues, uh, job changes, job reassignments, getting on with my personal business, getting rid of the mobile promotion business and just sticking with a little bit of IT here and there. But I am glad to be back. I'm sorry I was away so long. But I wanted to uh, make this quick video. Uh, I've been reading a lot in the news lately and looking at a lot of different things that got me real, real happy with Linux. Uh, just want to go over something real quick. This isn't going to be a review of this, but uh, my daily driver right now is Garuda Mocha. I don't know if you guys have seen it or if you've heard of it. Uh, it is a great little distribution, guys. Uh, it is definitely a bit toned down from the main Garuda Dragonized version, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So, man, it is good to be back. And what I'm going to do is, as I've got a Blackmagic camera that is getting ready to be here real soon, so I can do some FaceTime with y'all too, and I'm probably going to try to do that and maybe do a 30,000 subscriber uh, challenge or something like that. When I hit 30,000, I'll start using the camera. But uh Wanted to go over some things I've been seeing in the news lately, and hopefully you guys have been seeing it too. Does anybody know where Schleswig Holstein, Germany is? Well, you probably don't. It's in the northern part of Germany, and uh, it's got about 2.9 million people in it. The reason I bring this up is that uh, that part of the country right there will be dumping Microsoft completely. Uh, basically, in less than three months, there are going to be no civil servants, police officers, or judges that will be using any kind of Microsoft programs, which I think is great. Instead, they're going to be turning to open source guys. They're going to take control of their data back. They're going to ensure digital sovereignty. Uh, it's, digi it's digitalization minister, that's easy for you to say, Dirk Schroeder told AFP. We're done with Teams, referring to Microsoft's messaging collaboration tool, and he was speaking on a video call via an open source German program. The radical switch will affect 60,000 public servants and then 30,000 or so teachers in the coming years. I think it is awesome. I think they're going to uh, switch over from Word and Excel, and they're going to LibreOffice, and then they're going to use Open Exchange and get rid of Outlook. I think this is nothing but good news for Linux and the Linux community, uh, and I think it's nothing but good news for that part of the uh, of the world to be able to take back your sovereignty. And they go down here, digital dependencies. In the case of Microsoft, there's been long worries about the dominant position that they have. And I agree with that, especially if you're a country overseas and you've got to look over here and go, ooh, the mean United States. They've got too much control over our information. Even though the United States isn't Microsoft, I could see where that would be an issue. And they do have an issue. They think that the power wielded by American tech titans has been thrown into sharper relief by Donald Trump's return to the White House, which it may, may not. I'm not going to get political on here, but I think it is really, really awesome that this country right here is going to be dumping Microsoft. Correction, I think it's really cool that that part of the country in Germany is going to be dub, uh, dumping Microsoft. I think that's a great move for them, and I think it's going to, uh, I think it'll probably save them a lot of money if you're talking about 60 to 60,000 government workers and then 30,000 teachers, they've got to be paying something for those licenses. I know they're buying them in bulk, but it's going to save them some money down the way. And another thing I wanted to come across is talking about Denmark. They're getting ready to dump Microsoft Office and Windows for LibreOffice and Linux. Now, this is a this was last week, July 3rd, but it, it, they've been talking about it since the end of June, and I mean... It's just been boom everywhere. Cities dumping Microsoft. Cities dumping Microsoft. And if you go over here and look, it says one of the most tech savvy countries in the world. Denmark's Office of Digital Affairs says we're done. Some say it will never be the year of Linux. It's going to be the year of Linux in Denmark. Last week, Denmark's digitalization secretary announced that her office is bidding Microsoft farewell and switching to Linux and open source. 
This wasn't the result of a fallout with Microsoft or even, you know, the European Union's Digital Markets Act. And I know some of you out there are familiar with that. I don't know if you're in the U.S. if you know much about it. But, you know, Microsoft's got to give you the ability to, you know, uninstall Edge and everything over in the European markets, which we can't do here, which I think we should be able to have that freedom no matter what. But Denmark is going to be switching over to a Microsoft free environment within just a few short months. And I do believe they're wanting to be completely uh, wash their hands of Microsoft by November. And uh, it's not about isolation or digital nationalism. We should not turn our backs completely on global technology companies. But I think what they're saying is a company like Microsoft should not wield so much power over their country. So they're going to switch their teams over to Linux. They're going to switch their teams over to LibreOffice. And, you know, Open Exchange is going to be uh, uh, something that they're going to utilize as opposed to Outlook. Uh, and like it says, if the entirety of the ministry of the Danish government can switch to Linux, anybody can. And it, I switched to Linux on a whim earlier this year and haven't looked back ever since. So, I mean, people are finding it. Even, even politicians, even people that are in higher power have switched to Linux and find it easy to use. And it gives you way more control over everything. Now, I'm not bashing Windows. Yeah, I am. I just think, you know, people ought to just get rid of it, especially with all the AI that's getting baked into it. I think there's useful parts of AI, but I mean, it's just like everything is inundated with AI now. You can't go on uh, social media. You can't go on to websites. It's just AI, AI, AI. And hopefully that, that, that hopefully we find a way to fine tune that down and make it a little bit more useful for the regular person. Now, another thing I wanted to go over real quick in this video was Linux's ascendancies and George Whitaker uh, wrote about this in the Linux Journal and it's nothing major guys but if you go back to July 2022 we were at 2.76 percent of uh, the market which means 2.76 percent of the people that had PCs were using Linux July 2023 is 3.12 percent July 2024 is 4.4 in June of 2025, we're at 4.7. A little bit, not as much in the last year as the previous year, but it's definitely on an upswing. And let me tell you something, with, with countries like this switching over and getting rid of Microsoft and switching over to Linux and going open source and making things a lot easier and a lot more secure for their country, I think you're gonna see these numbers go up. And I just wanna say another thing, the Steam OS, Steam Deck, if they can get that rolling, like it says right here, if they can get it rolling and you can get these multiplayer competitive games that have anti-cheat through on Linux, that's going to be a game changer. Hardware support, cost-effective solutions, regional adoption patterns, I think all of that hand-in-hand -hand is going to uh, make for a fun time over the next 18 months. I want to see just how many more countries jump on board with Germany and with Denmark. So that was just a quick video I wanted to throw together. Guys, It's glad I'm glad to be back. I was a little nervous making this one, but I'll be okay. I'll get back in the groove. And uh, if you would, please, just like the video. I'm going to go back to doing a video every day. It may be about a Linux distro. It may be about something that I don't like about Microsoft or Apple. Or it may just be me coming on here talking about something completely off the wall. But I am so glad to be back. I missed you guys. And if you would, just throw me a like. Uh, if, you, if you like what you've seen on the channel previously and you like this video, throw a subscribe at me, okay? Hey, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.